back there, I'll do a quick response, hopefully, to some of the amazing atheist pithy, pithy hey, remarks. It's pithy social commentary. It's just so deep and fucking profound. I respect vegetarianism. No, that's a lie. I don't respect vegetarianism. But I, I can pretend to have an inkling of tolerance for vegetarianism as a personal choice. But don't try to pass it off to me as a philosophy. You know, oh, yeah, right. So it's a personal choice not based on philosophy. It's a personal choice based on what? Preference and desire? So there's people born with a desire not to eat meat or some personal gain not to eat meat. No, people don't eat meat, most of them, okay, because it makes logical sense for some reason, either because they understand that meat is full of poison, basically, or they understand it's inefficient and inhumane and a waste and an abomination and something, if they can avoid doing it, it's worth not fucking doing, you dumb fucking piece of shit care about animals, I care about animal rights. If you care about animal rights, then you cannot participate in this society at all. We're oh yes, right, that's right, we can't because no, we have to be assholes. We have to be wasteful, we have to be selfish, fuck-hearted pieces of shit like you. You admit you haven't done a day's work in your life unless somebody put a gun to your fucking head. You have absolutely no interest in investing in human civilization whatsoever. You just want to feed on it, you big fucking piece of shit. Far too plentiful. We take up way too much space. We build giant cities. We pollute the rivers. We... You don't build shit. You don't do shit. All you do is shit. Consume and shit. Pollute the oceans. If you want to be an animal rights activist, then you need to uh, basically revert to hunter-gatherer mode. Yeah, what we should hunter and gather is all the fuck-tarted assholes like you and, and, and shoot you off to some other planet to blight and to be a parasite on. 